What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and I've officially built my very own test bench. It's rocking the new Intel i7-6950X 10 core processor which I will be overclocking to its maximum potential. I also have 16GB of DDR4 RAM from G-Skill, a 512GB SSD from Transcend and the new ASUS Strix X99 gaming motherboard with RGB LED accents. I did pick up an EVGA GTX 1080 Founders Edition as a reference to all of my benchmarking tests and powering this entire setup is the Corsair AX1500i power supply with red sleeving to complement the black and red theme. And finally the test bed itself which is quite simply the coolest test bed I have ever seen. So this is the wet bench from Primo Chill that features an all aluminum build with acrylic colored accents and it does come in two main colors either black and white with a variety of accent colors to match your theme. So the wet bench supports motherboards from an ITX form factor all the way to an EATX with 120 to 360 millimeter radiator support internally and up to 420 millimeter support outside the bracket. Unfortunately Unfortunately, it won't work with AIO coolers, so you have to either have a custom loop for the CPU or go with an air cooler like I have. It also supports power supplies in any size and a combination of up to 4 SSDs and hard drives. It does come with plenty of PCI brackets to support 4-way SLI, but the coolest feature of this entire bench is the fact that it's modular. You can remove the motherboard tray and the radiator bracket very easily. There are basically 4 screws in each corner that allow me to hook the tray to and then I can also carry it around easily since both sides have cutouts that contours my fingers. A well thought out and badass looking test bench that gets the job done, but I'll drop a link down below if you guys want to check it out for yourselves. The other main piece of this build is the motherboard. Picking out a solid high end motherboard is extremely important if you're going to be pushing the system to the extreme, which is why I went with the ASUS Strix X99 gaming board. There are plenty of attractive features that I will go over in a more in-depth look at this motherboard in the near future, but instead I'm going to be going over several of my favorites. First up, let's take a look at specs. So for RAM, it supports up to 8 DIMMs for a total of 128GB of stock, 2133 MHz and up to 3333 if overclocked. Of course, you get all the bells and whistles as well, M.2, U.2 and 8 SATA 6GB per second ports and 1 SATA Express. In terms of I.O., you get 4 USB 3.0 and 2.0 ports and two USB 3.1, type A which is in red and a type C right below that. You also get the Wi-Fi Go module and five audio jacks as well. The first main feature is the RGB lighting. The orange Strix and ROG logos are replaceable with three other colors that are provided with the Strix X99. If neither color tickles your fancy, you can peel it off to showcase the standard black logo, which blends in with the motherboard. Additionally, the board comes with RGB lighting, which is controlled with the Aura software. Not only can you change the colors to anything your heart desires, but you have the option to add an effect as well. The spots that light up are the IO armor, ROG text, and the PCIe latches. Speaking of PCIe, the Strix X99 features three PCIe 3.0 slots that supports up to three-way SLI or Crossfire. Depending on how many lanes you get with the CPU, you either get a by 16 configuration for a two-way SLI or an 8.16.8 config for three-way. With GPUs increasing in size and weight over the past few years, the PCIe slots tend to weaken and break off due to the stress that's applied to them. One thing I really liked that ASUS did was strengthen the top PCIe slot. They're calling it the safe slot, which is essentially redesigned and reinforced to improve resilience over all three axes. Furthermore, all of the PCI slots have been anchored to the motherboard more effectively by a new hook design, which is capable of withstanding more force than conventional designs. The Strix X99 is also armed with Supreme FX Audio, which features Japan-made audiophile-grade capacitors that provides a warm, natural, and immersive sound with exceptional clarity. Overall, this is one kick-ass motherboard that any enthusiast would enjoy, but be sure to be on the lookout for a more detailed video in the future. Now even though the bench can support up to 4 drives, I only have a single 512GB SSD from Transcend that holds all of my games and programs which is plenty for me. Starting up Windows, loading games and programs fast is essential for benchmarking. It's the most tedious task I have to do for the channel and having a blazing fast SSD from Transcend helps shorten the overall time. And finally, the software that I'm going to use to monitor all of this is the NZXT Cam which is a free all-in-one program that allows you to monitor your PC from any anywhere as well as overclock your GPU. So on the main page you get access to a bunch of information from your temps to storage space and it will even show a list of programs that currently are running in the background. Also hitting the maximize button will expand the software showing a lot more information. 
The build tab shows your system specs. The game tab shows the most recent games that you've played, along with some useful information like duration played and average FPS, which I think is very helpful when benchmarking games. And finally, the tuning tab, which is my personal favorite. Over here, you guys can overclock your GPU. You get access to the voltage, core clock, and memory clock all on one screen. Another awesome feature is the overlay option, which displays certain info while you are in game. So let's say you want to know how many FPS you are getting and what your GPU temps are while playing a game or running a benchmark. Well, you get the option to enable any of the following info, which I find very useful. You can also position the overlay in any corner you like, while setting up a toggle key to enable and disable it whenever you want. Since you can monitor your PC in real time from practically anywhere by using the app, you can also set up notifications to alert you if your PC exceeds a certain limit that you have set in the settings. Also, you can view the current FPS of the game in real time on the app, which I think is a pretty cool feature. Overall, this is an awesome software for PC enthusiasts or for anyone that wants to get to know their system a little bit more and also venture into GPU overclocking. If you guys are interested in checking this out for yourself, I'll drop a link to it down below along with all the parts used for my test bench. But that basically wraps up this video. Let me know what you guys think about my test bench by leaving your comments down below and also leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will see you next time.